So for those of you who are really action takers, Vesta is going to explain to us some of the contests that we have throughout the year in Toastmasters. Vesna, go ahead and explain what kind of contests we have. Okay, so to, throughout the year, Toastmaster International organizes uh, two different contests. Uh, we have one in the spring, and that, that one is uh, International Speeches Contest, as well as Table Topics Contest. In the fall, we have uh, Humorous Speech Contest and evaluation contest. I might be I might be wrong in the actual combination here, but we have different contests. So uh, this year uh, we have um, I actually just registered to go to uh, international Toastmaster convention in Vancouver. This is first time ever that we have convention, a world or international convention in Canada. So I wanted to be part of that. I registered to watch the actual 10 best speakers. We start from at the club level and we go through the area, division, district, and all these levels. And you have to come to the international convention where top of the crop, you see, those are the best speakers in Toastmasters. So to be part of that is gonna be something else for me. And um, I will enjoy listening to these uh, speakers who's, who, are, uh, who went through all these uh, levels of competition and they came up at the ten, top 10. So this uh, international convention is happening in Vancouver, 23rd to 26th of August. And uh, they have different things happening at this convention. So there's some education sessions, there's some parties, there's uh, speeches, there's all kinds of things going on that you can learn from the best. So I registered, as I said, to see the actual speech contest. And I'm so looking forward to that. So as Eva said, if you're action taker, uh, you might wanna try your hand in uh, competing in contests. Wow, thank you, Vesna, for sharing that. It's very exciting to see some of amazing public speakers. All of us, we just started at a basic level, and now we can see some of them really rising and speaking so amazing. So it's great to see. And, you know, today we are watching or we are talking with Vesna. And watch, in next couple of years, Vesna will be standing on that stage of international public speakers. So I, I wish, but... You know what, I actually tried my hand and I competed in a humorous speech contest and I actually won in a club and went to the next level where I placed third. It was, it was actually an accomplishment for me. So uh, I don't think I'll be ever at the top 10, but uh, I hope I learned something from them. You just believe, Vesna. I have faith in you. I know you to be there. So for those, those of you who would like to attend international contest speaking, I guess, or even just watching it, go ahead and sign up on international or toastmastersinternational.org, I believe, right, Vesna? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, there's actually, the, the, this information is available uh, at uh, our District 42 Toastmaster website as well, mm -hmm. as well as the international, toastmasterinternational.org. So if you need more information, uh, check out those two sites, uh, or you just Google uh, Toastmasters, International Toastmasters Convention, and you will find all kinds of information there. And if you would like to have an idea about top 10 public speakers in Toastmasters, again, go on YouTube and find some videos. And you know what? I think each of you, if you find some amazing videos, how about you post it in the comment below? We'll be happy to watch it with you. Thank you again, Vesna, and I'll see you in Vancouver. I'll try my best to maybe actually go live from Vancouver so you will uh, see the atmosphere over there. Thank you, Eva, for doing this interview, and I will see you in September. That will be awesome. I want to see you from Vancouver. See you then. <laughs>